Guys, we are now open to questions. We've got loads of guys here. Anybody for the title fights? Any questions for Dean or John? Yes, sir. John, you mentioned in an interview recently that you think you're better than Dean in all areas. Uh, that's quite a bold thing to say in mixed martial arts. He's right to explain why you think that. Well, he said the same, so I've always said that. <laughs> he said you said. He said it first, so I was kidding. I, I, I do think I'm better in every way. He may be a bit stronger, but I, I think I'm better in every way. more technical anyway. He's got nice glasses on. Thank you. I'm impressed with his beard though, he's his t-shirt. Yeah, good t-shirt. Renegade t-shirt. Represented. Who's the thing that's got the better beard? He's got a bit of a ginger in it though, so... That's hard to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad though, it's bad. 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 Come on, Dave, I didn't think racists were tolerated. Come on, I'm ginger. Yeah. <laughs> Zero tolerance. All right, any questions for Michael and for Tim for the Lightweight Championship? Michael, yes. you've been on a training trip for this one. Yeah, I have, yeah. I've been on a mega top team. How did you feel about the experience and how does it make you feel as a fighter going into the coaches? Uh, I feel really good this time. I'm in the right place in mind. I was in the right place in mind when I was fighting Robbie. Uh, Brad took me. Um, phoned me up to me come out with him to a Ruger top team. So uh, me and Bollins went up there, I signed up with a Ruger top team. So um, they treated me really well out there. I had good, really good training. Training with the best in the world, you know. Um, training with Brad every day, Tabao, uh, Pitbull, Jack Silva. I can name like millions of you training with. So, um, black belts. Every single guy I rolled with was a black belt, so I was getting a lot of stand up. So it should be a really good fight between me and Tim. I know Tim's a, an all round good fighter, but um, I'm going to win tomorrow, so that's, that's it. He might be better than me in, on the ground, the jiu jitsu and stuff, and his hands might be a little bit better, but I will definitely win tomorrow. Dave, going back to um, going back to, to, to Beardoff, um, <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> after that, <laughs> When Dean was out last time, he he himself said that he wasn't that happy with his performance. Um, you know, Jermaine done really well against What's him. That, and, oh, thanks, mate. And, <laughs> and, um, and, um, and John had said at the end of the fight, obviously you you can't come a lot better than that if you think you're going to win anything. How do you feel coming into coming into this title fight after that performance that you yourself weren't that happy? Well, with? I feel like shit at the minute. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm good. I think John O'Dowd was as well. He came back from an injury and like, he wasn't happy. We spoke about it after after that fight, and he, he wasn't happy with the performance. It's hard to come back. <coughs> Not only coming back from an injury, but uh, quite a long period, you know, off. And ring rust is uh, a serious thing that sometimes you, you underestimate, and uh, that was a nice part of it as well. Just getting over that hurdle and that, that mental block. And, Coming back from the injury, I think I've gone past that. Uh, I think in great shape. I've got straight back in the gym the week after the other guys fighting, so I had to you know, be a training partner for them. So I um, had a real long camp, big camp over Christmas and stuff. So yeah, I'm feeling, feeling good. Looking forward to it. Okay, Tim. Looks like you're a bit of an underdog at the moment, son, but not to worry. Tim, what have you got to say to Michael? Um, he's currently got my belt, so you know, <coughs> I want to get it back. So that's all, all I've got to say, really, Dave. That, that is true. That Tim was at uh, the UCMMA champion and beat Jason Young in uh, quite good style. So, and he beat one of your teammates. So, what do you think? No, I, I, you know what? I, don't, I think Tim is uh, one of the best um, 155 fighters in, in England. I reckon he's, he's up there, uh, top top four, top five people. But um, I'm, this is my life. He's not Tim's life. This is my life, this is my world. I train, I sleep, train, eat, do my thing. You know, shit. <laughs> I can't wait for tomorrow for this one. <laughs> okay, I, do I do everything, everything for me is fight, everything. You know, my wife left me for fight, you understand? This is I was just going to say that a lot of people don't realise he was married, divorced, everything, just give up everything for fighting. So, so that does take a lot out of uh, yourself. Yeah, he's got a kid, a family, <laughs> he's got to work and stuff like that. He, he will not come with nothing in that ring that haven't been faced with already and he will not, he'll come with nothing in that cage that I can't deal with. And, um, and I'm just, I'm going to bring my whole okay. game. And if he beats me, he beats me. Go and swear, you know, good luck to him. I'll, I'll give him the belt and say to him good luck. And, I'll pick myself up and go again. That's it. That, 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 that's how, that's how that's that's a hard to do. That's MMA. That, yeah, it's MMA. Everyone gets beat. 
in, in this game. Everyone's beaten, you know. So, so if I lose, I give him the belt. Good luck, Tim. God bless you, and I'll see you down the road. Well done. Give him a round of applause. Big middleweight fight. Yes, thanks, Jim. God love you. He does this quite well rounded. You've also shown him got brilliant submissions, great stand up, obviously, a good knockout over Lola. Uh, where do you think your best chance in this fight comes from? Um, I'm really, you know, I, haven't got a, I don't think I'm going to win it anywhere in particular. I'm not, I'm not having me training to, to win it anywhere in particular. I just um, I know that I'm going to win this fight and, uh, you know. Anywhere it goes, I'm you know I'm comfortable now. So, <coughs> so yeah, that's it. Dennis, do you want to say anything to that? Oh, we can all dream. <laughs> <laughs> we can all dream, mate. Uh, my last two outings on this show, I thought um, it was a bit bad decision. So I'm not looking for any more decisions, man. I'm looking to spark it. <laughs> Any other questions? Yeah, You've got some great fight. You've got the UK one weight fight here. <coughs> You've got uh, Bowler, who again has been over to American Top Team. Let's go over Bowler. You've been an American Top Team Bowler. What's the experience like for you? Uh, different level. You know, thank Brad Pickett for taking me over there. You know, I went over to Mikey as well. Um, you know, the level out there is just so different from over there. You know, even though you have to have respect for all the British fighters. But I've learned so much, I can't even, you know, begin to put it into practice. But, but you're a Spider Man, it's 4 0 over there. Who's willing to put you to sleep, you think? Oh, well, we wait and see tomorrow, innit? You know what I mean? You can't bring nothing that I ain't seen already, so we wait and see tomorrow. It's going to be a good one. I'll have a bit of a bonus fight. <laughs> Dave, I'll bet in the first round. I just want to go back to, um, I want to go back to Tim just quickly. Um, this fight, we, 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 we branded this fight Clark Kent versus the Hulk. This is going to be this is going to be interesting one. But in um, in in the Hulk's last outing, obviously it got stopped because there was some interference from the crowd um, against the, against the flame. Um, but so, critics would say that the flame may have been having the upper hand. The, the fight didn't get to end, so we can't say how it would have turned out in the end. But how does that make you feel going into this fight against the Hulk? Well. I mean, that fight, you don't, you don't actually know how that fight's going to end up. I mean, you know, potentially it will be one second round and maybe it was going that way, who knows. Um, but I'm sure Mikey had plenty to put out in the third round if it needed to go that far. Um, but on this fight, I mean, he's the champion, you know, I'm the challenger. You know, I, I kind of look at my position as the underdog in this fight. Um, you know, this is his house and I've got to do everything to take that belt off him. And to be honest, I think, you know, as he pointed out, he's a very motivated fighter right now. Um, you know, and I'm going to have to do my best, to, the best to win, I think. Nothing but my best is going to work out. So, you know, that's how it's going to go down, I think. Yeah. 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 Any other questions? Yes, young man. Because uh, John's a real well-rounded fight, fighter, so I think this is just going to be a better wrestler. It's a fight go anyway. I think it's going to be a proper MMA fight. You're going to see all, all ranges. It's, I, I'm sure it's always going to end up on the ground. It's going to be a lot standing up. It's going to be some clinch. And now, uh, you know, from watching video on him, he's, he's happy in every range. I think that's you know, I am also. It's just going to be on the night who's going to get the advantage in, in those positions. So I'm just going to give Gad the Ah, so I don't <laughs> Can I just, John? Can I just um, let, let me just cut across because obviously um, everyone knows the camp that everyone knows the camp that um, Dean comes from. He comes from a very a, you know a camp of stars to be you know yeah. MMA stars. So does that keep bring any intimidation factor to you going into the cage with him? No, no, because they can't be in the cage with him, can they? That's how I look at it. It's good. He's got a real good camera. I know all the guys and think they're all great guys, but no, it's no factor. I train with a bunch of low guys, like Jack Mason. <laughs> but I've also got loads of good guys coming from there. My brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Robbie. I've got loads of fuck like Pierre, get got good guys himself, so yeah, no, it's no factor in it. Okay. Can I just get one more time? Dave, sorry, no, sorry. Jay, one more time. Last one, last one, last one, one, last one. I just want to say, with the new rules, because it's changed, a lot of the uh, K1 stuff has always been in UCMMA, two, uh, two minute rounds. Moved it up to now full three minute rounds with the MMA gloves. I know you, you've had two already, Mark Weir and uh, Mark Epstein. 
um, and that was all, that was three two minute rounds. Is the extra round going to make a difference? Do you prefer it? Extra minute. No, I prefer it. Um, I've come from a kickboxing background, and I was used to doing five rounds, seven rounds. So this is going to be right up my street, to be honest. Just one more thing to Linton. I know Linton's got one man in his sights, which is the poster boy, but you've got to get through Rolandas from Lithuania. A any words from you, Linton? No, I'm just going to say, obviously, Rolandas is bringing a game, mate, because tonight I want to win. So. <laughs> well, tonight I'm going to win. Like, you know, so we go. So we can back tonight. Yeah, we're going to win tomorrow, so you say bring a game, bro. Well, Andy, you want to, I was there in your last fight when you knocked out Glenn Reed Cole. Uh, you said downstairs more of the same. Is that, is that your big hands that was for? Yeah, I'd like to talk to you for fight. So we'll talk tomorrow. You don't want to talk, you talk yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, any more questions? Otherwise, it's going to be the face. Yes, that, that for America. Hot damn! Question for Mike. Mike, what, is there a contrast in training in the UK versus training in the US with top team? And if so, how would you characterize that? Uh, we, um, when you're an American top team, um, you stay humble. <coughs> you stay really humble because uh, they put you to like fight the amateur guys and they kick your ass. <laughs> Literally kick your ass. And then once one kicks your ass, they put you to another one and the other one kicks your ass. And it's like seven rounds of kicking your ass. <laughs> so, um, like the first day I went there, I thought, yeah, I'm from Britain. Like, I'm down to Titan. I'm, I'm, I'm training down there hard. There's nothing that they need to can bring to me. Brad said to me, um, they told me about like, look, watch it out because this is a hard training. I was like, no, no, I'm cool, I'm cool, I train hard in England, you know, blah, blah, blah. Got knocked out twice, you know? <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's like, um, I, over there when we used to go and spa, he, he warned me before we went, he said, it's like a fight. And uh, I used to get nervous going for a sparring session because I thought it was like a fight. It, it was exactly like a fight. We, we were fighting. Like, um, it was like uh, going in there and fighting, proper fighting, you know? We were just. It's, in England, they hold back a little bit, blah, 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 blah. In America, you don't hold back. Everyone tries to rip up your, off your head, so you've got to try to rip off this. You know, and, and um, I learned a lot over there. That's why I signed up with them, them guys over there. And uh, whatever happens this fight, um, I'm leaving in April, going back there, improving my game, and all I can do is get better in this sport. You know, um, like, I'm reaching my level that I can get to in this game. So, win or lose tomorrow, I'll leave, I'll leave, go back to with uh, Brad to move the top team, train hard, and uh, see what, what taking from there. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, so, so, is it possible, uh, do you guys, are you uh, going through the same weight cut that they have at American top team? Because apparently uh, the way they weight cut is actually quite legendary and it's quite a specific way. Um, they, they, um, I'll be honest with you, Brad helped me a lot with his weight cut when I went over there. I used to cut weight and they used to kill me. Really, really bad weight cuts. Because I don't forget, people don't know that I dropped down from 210 pounds. I'm, I'm usually at 210. I walk around at 210 pounds. I went to a member doctor at 195 pounds. You know, so I walk around big. You know, and uh, and uh, it's like me and Tabal, like when we were going, and he's massive, like as well. So um, he 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 told me a couple of weight, like the way to cut, and uh, Brad Brad showed me how to cut. Because he's been here, it's the first fight that Brad, Brad's been here from America. So he was with me all week, and uh, he, he told me exactly how to cut the weight. Um, I bought my corner man from um, American Top Team as well, and uh, he helped me, showed me how to cut. I explained to me over there how to cut. So it was easier to cut for me this time, a hell of a lot easier to cut for me this time. Um, last time when I fought Robbie, um, I couldn't see in one eye. Basically, I come away in, and, and I had no vision in one eye. Um, so it was really, really bad. And second round, I went, um, the first round, I took Robbie down and I, I was grinding and pounding. And I got up and I was like, oh, like, I was trying to catch my breath. Um, but I was really, really fit. But it was just the weight cut was really bothering me. So this time round, um, I think, I think that I've done a good weight cut. I, have, I didn't feel it that much this time round. So um, I dropped down from, um, I was like 195. I dropped down to like, um, 175 and then cut from there. So it was, it was a good, good, nice cut for me, I think. Thank so, you very much. Cheers. Okay, give these guys a round of applause. We're going to push this back now. We're going to face off.